Hi, thank you for tuning in here with me. I'm Dr. Mandel. I like to discuss about cervical degeneration, cervical spondylosis, or even another word of degenerative joint disease. Most of you are here because you want to learn more about what your doctor has told you, or maybe what the MRI has said. But many of you are panicking because you have spondylosis, you have degeneration, you have osteoarthritis, you have degenerative joint disease. And what do you do? Well, I'm here to make you feel at ease because I don't want you to panic. Realize that what you have today has taken many years to accumulate. This did not happen overnight. And unfortunately, the degeneration that's been going on has been silent. Now you're asking, how did this come about? Why me? How, how come my neck is so degenerative? Why are my discs so thin? Why am I having spurs coming off the vertebrae? If you look back when you were a child, all the bumps, falls, injuries, accidents, and bad posture that you may have, as well as bad posture you may have today, the accumulation of you just sitting down, looking down with the forward head position, sleeping incorrectly, doing things incorrectly day after day, and having bad posture all causes this accumulation of degeneration. Your head weighs about 12 pounds. If you leave a 12 pound weight off of center of gravity, where it's off to the forward, off to the side, and it stays off for long periods of time, the muscles, ligaments, and joints have to compensate from that instability. This all leads to degenerative joint disease or what we call degeneration. Most degeneration that you have been told that you have is discs when they become thinner, spurs when they start to add to the bone, we call osteoblastic or osteophytes, which are the spurs that come off the bone. Yes, degeneration can lead to inflammation. It can lead to nerve irritation. Understand that the symptoms that you're having today is an inflammatory or an acute condition from a chronic manifestation. That means that something chronically has been going on underlying within your neck. And you had no symptoms. The littlest subtle jerk or maybe the littlest subtle bad posture where your body couldn't sustain because of straw that broke the camel's back or something that initiated this started to bring out that instability, the inflammation, irritation on the nerve. And so you go to the doctor, you take x-rays, maybe an MRI, a CAT scan, and they say you have all this disc or degenerative joint disease or spondylosis that's going on in your spine. Well, the first thing first, you need to stop doing the things that are making it worse making sure that when you sit, get a support behind your back, make sure the shoulders are back, make sure that the, the air is in line, the whole of the air is in line with the shoulders, that you're not stooping down forward, typing all day or texting all day, making sure that you have a strong core so you have good posture to stand up that supports your, your inner self, your inner chest and your viscera, making sure that you stay flexible, making sure you are eating the right nutrition and getting the proper sleep so your body can heal and repair. Making sure that you're not sleeping incorrectly, making sure that your neck is in line with your shoulder when you're sitting or sleeping, that your head's not propped up too high nor too low. But again, you're in a situation, how do I get the pain away? So getting rid of the inflammation is the key naturally. I love turmeric, I love ginger, blending that up. The best anti-inflammatory properties that are, that are so healthy for you, good for your stomach, good for your intestine, good for your immune system. Do things that are natural. Use ice to help reduce inflammation. But again, make sure you get back to the right ergonomics, the right posture, and the right strengthening of your body. Even your core, extremely important for the neck. Make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.